everyone it's Big Bear and welcome to my channel today I'm bringing you a new series from uh, Jin Engine um, I'm calling this um, like some kind of like intermediate level why do you not see the basic level because there's a lot of video about already like a lot of video about how to do the basic thing with Jit Engine by like looking for this value, that value and stuff like that and changing them and also Jit Engine does have a tutorial that you can go through all of them if you go through the, the tutorial from Jit Engine by itself you should get all of the basic ideas so if you need something basic um, we just go to look on Google or YouTube and you're gonna find a lot of information about that today I'm gonna to show you like once you know at least something at least that you can find some easy value I want to show you how to make a pointer for uh, your game so what what is pointer um, if you know the basic you already know but let me just repeat it a pointer is Catalyze something you have from the G engine that's gonna target to your um, actual value all the time. So even when you restart the games, you still see that um, value popping up. All right, and so for example, right here, if you see on the screen, you see the money over here. It only had the address. Okay, and this one will change when you restart the game. So what we want is like we don't want to just keep repeating, searching, looking for stuff all the time. All right, so we will want to find a pointer that um, will show you everything. I mean like that will um, show up everything the same value, so you can change it every time you just turn on the game, turn on the engine, attach to the game, and good to go. All right. So today I'm going to show you how to do the pointer in the intermediate way not the normal way so the normal way let me see where's my screen right here and this is the jet engine so the normal way for you to do the um, pointer scan is go just uh, find the value right click on that and use the pointer scan for this address function on generate part of map these two kind of the basics way uh, the good thing about this is like when you get into the games that you have like zero knowledge you have you don't know anything about it so doing this will most of the time guarantee you to find a pointer the, the reason good this it like very time consuming so sometimes if the pointer has like two three four offsets you you'll find but you if you're looking for the game with like seven eight or nine offsets your computer gonna run like days or week until you can find that pointer and that take too much time so for today with the intermediate um, method you might be able to find it way faster there's like the advanced level where you can find like eight nine ten offsets with uh, with this method but we'll talk about it later for today we're just gonna do something simple so let's get started we go into the uh, jet engine for uh, this game today I'm uh, using is called Chef RPG I, f I think this one is easy because it does not have a lot of kind of like anti-cheat method building in here okay so first of all you gonna file let's start with something very simple the credit okay I call it money right here all right now after after you find it, this one is a float value, so you're just looking for that value and then change it and um, keep changing until you find only one value. All right. After that, you after a lot of search, like just basic one, you will get this thing right here. All right. So what I'm gonna do now to make the pointer you right click on that address okay you choose find out what access to the address okay that there's a find out what drive to the address we want to access okay because uh, like I don't want to change anything I just want to know what looking for looking into this thing so let's see after you click that one a new window gonna pop up okay the following up code something over here so Jit engine now tracking for um, what function or instruction accessing this address over here, right there. 
okay so go to the game i try to like assessing the um assessing the money right here by going around uh, if, like as you can see my let me turn on my game you can see right now my money is about three thousand right and it's shown in my inventory so it seems like when i accessing my inventory the money popping up and it seems like this one this address right here might be accessed so let's try it and now after i do that i just like turn on and turn off my inventory okay as you can see over here this thing popping up okay so let me do it again and not showing the game but just like this now you see there's nothing there right and i'm gonna turn off my uh inventory and turn it on and you can see that it's updating the uh, instruction over here for both of these it it happened whenever i turn on my um my inventory so you see count one what means it accessing once so I turn on turn off and turn on again count become two one more time three so i know that whenever i open the inventory the uh money get accessing in by these two instruction now which one should i choose it doesn't matter because like as you can see just whenever i assessing my inventory both of them are uh, get assessing in here so you can choose one of the two it doesn't matter in in the future maybe the, when we talk more about this i will show you which one that we choose but for now it doesn't matter at least for this game so let's just choose one i'm gonna pick up the top one okay and i click on show this assembler right it's gonna bring us to something like this all right when you get into this one over here, this is the instruction that as, that kind of like accessing into our credit over here, our money. All right. What you're gonna do, we're gonna right click on that, okay, and we click on find out what address this instruction accesses. Just click on that, and this window gonna pop up, okay. So this one again is very similar to. Let me see where I do where I put it. So these two were kind of like similar to each other, but this one, in, instead of looking for the instruction, it's looking for the actual address. So let's see when I turn off the inventory, turn it back on, and you can see our money value that over here, right? Do you see that address are the same and the value are the same? Okay, so I know for sure whenever I do that, the cow go when I turn off the inventory and turn it back on the cow keep increasing here okay so nothing else get kind of like nothing else get accesses and this is what we want we don't want like our pointer to be accessed by a lot of stuff just one thing okay so now I know that this instruction right here the one highlighted here only accessing our money okay all right so now i want a pointer to my money and all i need to do is click over here go to tool and then let's say auto assembler uh, auto assemble all right and you click on that one this thing gonna appear and if you watch some of my video before you might be familiar with this now you go on template and go aob injection okay click on that one click OK and click OK again okay so now we have this thing right here remove this part right here give some of the blue part there just come in and kind of like make things hard to keep track so now you get you have a, a code basically and using this code we will create a pointer all right so first of all we will need like a a variable for our pointer so i will call this one money pointer just like that all right then i'm going to register the symbol and just put it down here okay and then because we register the symbol when we disable the script we want to remove that so 
uh, jet engine from 7.4 and up allow us to to do this you just put a star here and it will unregister and deallocate everything that we register up here all right so now we have this one right here we need to define it uh, I usually put it right below the code part because like the code is where everything happened and then below it is where we define stuff okay so what I'm gonna do I'm put over here and we put in the Q0 because we want like an um, how many I think it's 8 byte because our most of the game right now in 64 bit they use uh, an address of like 8 byte okay just to be safe and so you put DQ0 and you can do this one for every Python that you plan in the future okay so now we move to the new mem uh, the code part eventually is the original code so you don't really have to touch it we go to the new mem over here and this is where we input in what we want what we want to modify in the games all right so in here you will want to put in move which means you copy something into our uh, Python okay so remember we need to use the square bracket in here okay this is just kind of like a formula that you have to remember all right so we move square bracket our Python name and then what we want to move we want to move it into this RDI over here because over here when RDI plus F0 that is our uh, actual money down here all right address right there so the REI actually holding the uh, the pointer, and then the FO right here, e, F0 is the offset, right? So we want to move REI into our pointer here. All right, symbol, just like that. Now we click on file, assign current, assign to current cheat table, and now we have a script right here. I'm gonna name this. Where's my pen over here? Why show right? Here. Okay. So I'm gonna name this one money pointer. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna click on add address manually here, and you're gonna see this thing popping up. Now in here, you're gonna put into it. Put in our um, Python that we assign. We call it the money pointer all right and I'm gonna put it here at value because we had a money pointer script over here then you click on pointer down here okay so now we have this one in the pointer farm okay uh, the upsets remember we were talking about F0 okay let me turn on the script again you see here that RDI plus F0 oops plus F0 over here All right so the money Python now holding the RDI and we plus F0 right here at the first uh, offset and then uh, let's see this one a float so we change the value to float okay move this into the script so we know that uh, the value is belong to this money Python here alright now I'm activating the script way for it to activate all right and now you can see the actual pointer e double question mark right here because we didn't update it yet okay we didn't access into that yet let me remove this one before it crashes my game because uh, this one's still accessing here so I'll close that all right so now I go back to the game and keep looking at this area right here okay you're gonna see when I close the inventory and open it and address update okay just like that so that's how you make the pointer in the kind of intermediate way this one you don't really have to looking for like you know waiting for hours for the pointer scan to run until you can find the value you just create a script that access into that uh, the, the base pointer and then you put in the offset all right, that's it for today uh, tutorial. I hope this helped, and then 
we will talk more more advanced way more into engineering in the future thank you for watching and have a good day